And boy, do we have an update for you out of California. As we first told you here, Californians hoping for their state tax refunds will get an IOU instead this year because California's too broke to pay them back right away. Now we know where some of that money went. Turns out the state controller who decided to, who decided to shortchange the taxpayers spent nearly $2 million on office furniture for his staff. Well, that's raising a lot of eyebrows out there. And one GOP state senator is calling it an abuse of power. That senator... Abel Maldonado joins us now. Senator, good morning. Good morning, Megan. It is abuse of power. What on earth could the controller have been thinking? The controller of California is out of control in California. He spent $2 million on, on new furniture. And this is the kicker. He's asking for another million now. But before I started looking into this 40 days ago, Megan, he was asking for seven million. No, he had already ordered seven million dollars worth of furniture. This is incredible. Billions of dollars are being held in tax refunds. The California taxpayers are being flipped the bird, essentially, by the controller, uh, saying, tough, you're not getting your money back because we need it. And he's spending two million dollars on new office furniture? He is, and we have a $900 billion bailout, now 920, probably 922 by tomorrow. I can tell you that it is ridiculous. It is waste, fraud, and abuse. It's waste to spend on new furniture. When he has furniture, it's fraud not to send the people of California back their tax refund. It's their money with no interest, and it's really an abuse of power. He's, he's, he's got a spin machine going on right now. At the end of the day, if I wouldn't have been looking into this, they would have never brought it out. I actually asked for an appointment to go visit the controller's office a week ago yesterday. I want to know what a million dollars, I want to know what two million dollars of new furniture look like. They canceled me in the last minute. Why? They're just blaming everybody else. I didn't do it. It's for cubicles. At the end of the day, it is the height of irresponsibility. They say, yes, they, I want to quote, I have the invoice. Modular Systems Furniture Workstations that cost 3361 3, bucks a piece for a total of 924000 times two. So they are, they are workstations for the controller's employees. Do you, do you not buy the, the explanation that they needed to do it to comply with uh, federal regulations? I don't buy it because he had actually ordered for seven, but when I started looking into this and he found out, because I asked for those two receipts, Megan, and when they sent them to me, then they said, well, you know what, we're going to cancel another $4 million worth of furniture. So actually we're saving money. So the notion of it, let's order seven, we'll cancel four. By the way, we're saving money for the taxpayers. It is the height of irresponsibility. You know, we had so many outraged emails from California uh, voters and, and uh, constituents the other day when we covered this story. They are so ticked off. They, re they rely on those tax refunds and it's their money. It's basically an interest-free loan they've, gave, they've given to the California state governor and, and government. And, and the controller's representative joined us and said not only are they not going to pay it back for at least at least 30 days, they're not paying interest on it. Meantime, they're taking two million bucks so that their workers can have nicer cubicles. What's going to be done about this, Senator? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, he's got another million-dollar request as we speak. Yesterday I asked him to please write a letter to the governor and to the Department of Finance that he is not going to buy the extra million dollars. And I'm introducing a piece of legislation that says if the state government asks you for 18 percent interest rate when you're late, then they ought to give you 18 percent interest when, you, when they're late. Right. That makes perfect sense. At least pay interest on the loan, which the controller said Absolutely. Uh, they're not doing. Uh, this is... I don't know. This situation makes, makes a lot of people's blood boil, I have to confess, including my own. We invited the controller's office to come on, didn't get a response, but we invite them to come back and respond to you uh, today or tomorrow, and we appreciate you coming on, Senator, and giving us your Thank perspective you. on it. Thank you, Megan, he may so have, much. He may have had the line of the day. He wants new furniture. He's already got furniture. <laughs> you know, they say it doesn't comply with federal you know, regulations. You can pop on down the street to Ikea or Pottery Barn or Creighton and get a whole lot of, Listen, get a whole lot of furniture people, for $2, for $2 million. People, we had an email from a viewer who has to postpone her surgery because she's not getting her refund. Do you think she thinks the workers' cubicles are more important than her surgery? Hundreds and hundreds of stories we're getting, too. Oh, that ticks me I, off. In a moment,